Hello, Arachnid7, and welcome back to Rule of Waves 3. We continue our Spanish one in 1909. And uh, peace reigns throughout the world at the moment. We have ourselves a security arrangement with France, and there's a bit of a peacetime naval armament race as everyone tries to roll out the latest and greatest uh, battleships as we enter into the Dreadnought era, which is quite exciting. We, of course, have our Madrid class battleships, which are all very close to um, coming out of the oven. And these are fairly small, fairly light. Uh, our first tentative steps, I think, into the Dreadnought era, uh, which we are, well, I'm personally quite happy with uh, because there's been a whole bunch of techs that have come out since that will enable us to build a kind of a beefier um, main Dreadnought that we should see as good for a, a number of years. Uh, there was a Good comment from uh, Lucanus. We were talking about the um, obviously the design of a dreadnought here, and we, in fact, I ended up going for casemated secondaries to get rid of some of the uh, rate of fire penalties. I can show you if I fire these into turrets. You can see here we had a, a forty minus forty rate of fire mod in our secondaries. And he pointed out very correctly, we could have gone down to uh, shielded gun mounts rather than full on turrets, which would have eliminated one of those penalties. We still would have left the minus 24 because of the Q turret, but uh, it's probably something we could have lived with, so perhaps that would have been an overall better solution than going case um where they um, obviously do have issues in terms of, of how how uh, how often they can get on target. Accuracy was probably a better way of saying that, but you know what I mean. Okay. Um, great, that's what I want to say. So yeah, apart from that kind of peace reigning eternal, any uh, not so one quick squeeze at this. Um, what's other alliances on the go? Ah, the old Italy Ital American alliances on the go as well. Fine and dandy. Oh, there was one other thing I very quickly wanted to bring up, just as a, a balance to the points I made last episode. Hang on, let me just bring it up. Okay, so I shared this sheet, this sheet last time. These are the, the two tables I shared last time, and. and Set of time. This was just kind of very minor data points, and I'll probably kind of dip in and out and kind of keep building this in the background. Uh, but I was watching uh, Tatuga's playthrough, and he ha happened to have the almanac open, and I thought, you know, what? I'll just snapshot that and see what it is. And it was really quite interesting. Uh, he's obviously playing through his Germany in his run, um, and I found out he is actually he's kind of kept par with the AI's uh, current combat uh, budget efficiency. Boy. And uh, yeah, it was really interesting. So he's sitting about 1.9 and you see the AI's in a similar kind of vein. There's a few nudging slightly above them, but generally doing uh, doing quite well. So that was quite a good uh, balance to say that perhaps for whatever reason, just my own natural way of building ships is not particularly a tonnage efficient, but you know, kind of maybe a quality over quantity. And it's interesting because he has built a large number of very cheap light cruisers as kind of anti-blockade mechanics. I don't know if that's kind of skewing numbers, but it was just a, an interesting counterpoint to the fact that I was making about the, the player versus AI numbers. Anyway, I just wanted to touch upon that again, just to see that my initial analysis and the be all end all and, and the debate will rage for a long time, I'm sure. Right, but more importantly, let's get back to the game. So our plans at the minute are to just find ourselves in a war we can get some benefit from. I'm, I, yeah, anyone bar the big dog. So Italy, Austria, Hungary, China and Japan is who we're really gunning for. Even with the Italians being backed up by Yanks, uh, I had happily take them on with French assistant. Assistance. The Congress. Uh, yeah, quite nice. 20,000 tons, three knots. We've seen very similar designs like this before, I believe. Not one to use. I don't use cross stick fire often myself, but something we can look at. Game with the 12. A lot of 12 seems very uh, common caliber. I remember if we went on the tolls for a Madrid class. That is nippy. 25 knots for a battle cruiser. I mean, Italy is pushing the, the speed really quite quite hard with our ships in a minute and will leave us dead in the water. I'll let we went for 11s in ours. It's slightly undergunned. Like I say, kind of pocket dreadnoughts. This looks essentially the same ship. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. We haven't really gone hard in the submarines. We may do it at some point. Ooh, that's disappointing. Ah, we can get proper light cruiser armor. Oh, that's good. So we are now on our own. That makes the Italian-American 
Stramash more challenging. Especially if the Yanks take their main fleet and, you know, park outside my uh, northern European ports. That would be pretty uncomfortable, but we'll leave it where we are. See, well, I wouldn't necessarily turn down a fight with Italians. Money is looking a bit tight. How far away from finishing things? Oh, okay, a month is so perfect. Destroyers. A sudden slump in the economy has led to widespread unemployment and cutbacks. Not really what we want right now. We could say further cutbacks are unacceptable. Budget down, budget down, or social reforms to care for the employed. No, I'll be hawkish. All budget down, but at least this way we can uh, raise a bit of attention and things. Yeah, and with that and destroyers coming out, money is fine and dandy. Okay. Upheaval. In Albania. Um, now again, this is not somewhere we had particularly been planning on expanding to, kind of owning lots more of the med. We had talked maybe about nabbing Sardinia at some point. I'm not so worried about Albania. I mean, it might push us into war, I suppose. Uh, yeah, why not? Looks like it's going to be our um, whipping boy for a little bit. Technology sharing with Great Britain, which has been really good, actually. Oh, to print protection too. Oh. So many things what I want. Right, we are positive in old cash flow. We are five months away from finishing our middle class. So we'll probably wait till they are a couple more months down the line before we consider going to the drawing board for our next slew of heavy ships. Meanwhile, these Alcedos. You talk them out reserve. And that'll be fine. Well, like another batch of those at some point. Fire control and torpedo technology. Thank you, Great Britain. For protection two. Another month, we should get our first Madrids. Here we go. The Madrid and the Malaga. Beautiful. Uh, we are holding a speech and we can essentially pick a fight. Let's. I'd love to pick a fight with China. We've been angling for that all game. Ah, that was a pretty weak, a weak tension increase there. Okay, money's looking pretty healthy. Uh, we've got what, three months left on that, so I think it's probably about time to have a quick squeeze at what our next Dreadnought battleship design would look like. Essentially coming in about 20,000 tonnes. Um, we were talking about rocking these 14-inch quality zero bad boys that we got. Now, I believe we don't have superimposed forward turret. No, we do not. Do we have four centerline turrets? That I'm not even sure of. So this time we could we could do. Weight issues aside. Uh, that is quite a lot of 14 inch guns though. Um, but let's just say we got rid of the wing turrets. Stuck another one with centerline. I have a bad feeling we don't yet have. We could almost, almost stick on C, couldn't we? Yeah, we haven't got the tech yet. Ooh, okay. Okay, I see what's going on. So our options are to go for the wing turrets. Uh, what am I not seeing? Anyway, probably there and I'm probably just being blind. Um, options are we go for the wing turret design. Probably having to either pair back to six guns or or what? Probably isn't an or to be perfectly honest. I'm not sure we can scrape, scrape, uh, scrape out one half thousand tons, especially going only 21 knots. So we probably have to come down, back down to the kind of six gun broadside. Which isn't as quite as that, that kind of eight gun, four inch, 14 inch uh, beauty that we had been dreaming of. The other option we've got is to wait and build, you know, until we have uh, the tech and then build it, which is always an option. But then you kind of get that always kind of waiting for that perfect break point. So yeah, now I'm really depend, especially when you've got a three year delay between laying these, these, these things down and getting them built. Um, and if we have a look at our research, and I can remember exactly the order of things. 
Uh, so it'll be, which one's going to be now? Maybe hull, no, ship design. Design, perhaps. Do you know what? I'll tell you what, I will, so I don't know if things have been changed in Railway 3, but I'm going to double check what the tech uh, order was in Railway 2, and that will give us a little bit of an indication. All right, so in Rule of Waves 2, the order for these ship design techs would go uh, main, main battery wing turrets, which we've got, then cross deck fire. In fact, three center line turrets was before that. Superimposed X turret, then four center line turrets, then light armor configuration, then superimposed B turret. So they're all very close. They're, they were all were available from 1906. Again, I don't know if that numbers have been tweaked um and it could be the thing we're working on so it might actually be very blooming close so i'm tempted to build some other stuff while building up a little bit of a bank uh maybe then we could jump into these ships when we get that it's going to be a tough call if we go if we go straight away the four cent line or we want to do four cent line plus b i don't know We'll have to wait and see. But I think in the meantime, we're going to build some something a little bit smaller. Uh, we could refresh our light cruisers. Now we've got a you know the armor scheme for them. Um, we're also going to probably want, uh, well, maybe a few more heavies. Oh, they have some recent heavies, about four years now. But yeah, our most recent lights were oof, pre-1900. So yeah, well, why don't we knock ourselves out a couple of light cruisers uh, just to build this up a little bit. Uh, I'm also going to uh, refit you since you guys are obsolete. Probably just going to fire control and that's kind of it to be honest. Trim this down so it's not quite so overweight. Uh, and I think that'll probably be it to be honest. Oh no, we can we can give you the better guns. Yes, we will do that. I think. I think that will be a good improvement. Okay, that's fine. Just please rebuild them all. Thank you very much. Good. Uh, what else is obsolete? A couple of really old destroyers. Do you know what? Just for the sake of it, sure. Have yourselves a lick of paint. I'm not doing anything else. I don't really care. Uh, okay, thank you. I would also like to build another batch of those destroyers. I'm tempted just to push them out. I don't think there's been that much. But then, I mean, for the sake of, what is it, like a month or something? If I go... What have you got left? Nine tons. Not really going to do much with nine tons, are we? Bring some more ammo. But do you know what? It's fine. For the sake of a little bit of laziness, I'm just going to build another batch of these guys. Please and thank you. Okay, good. That's uh, spending a kind of money in. Actually, going a little bit negative, but that's okay. That'll really help our <laughs> run out of names. Uh, really help our light, our light force in terms of destroyers. And then I think if we haven't popped any more techs, I think I will knock out a couple of light cruisers. Uh, there, right, you guys are now essentially obsolete. Oh, I can also then scrap this because I've got I built some more. That is the correct one. Yes. What a sorry end for a warship, eh? I'm actually three months away from Madrid, but fine. Let's put you two onto active. Honest, I'm gonna mothball you up. Kind of obsolete. <laughs> okay, that's actually puts back in the black. Okay, more alliances expiring. Who needs alliances when the world's at peace? Okay, more industrialization. I like that. Austrian light cruisers. Bunch of six inches. Then some four secondaries. Well, it's not very many. Two four inch secondaries. Must have some kind of tertiaries there, because I see more turrets than that. 26 knots. Nippy. Thank you, Great Britain. Oh, better armor. Damage. Oh, lots of lovely little improvements. The Mercia is in. And we get our uh, various rebuilds. One thing we may want to look at is yeah, ASW and things where well, we're starting to get a little bit in, I suppose. Right. 
Yeah, you guys are gonna go. I'm oh, just gonna moth boy for the sake of your old and rubbish. Oh, I didn't mean to do that to Viglesia. Oh, did I? Probably. You're also old and pretty much rubbish. Uh, fine and dandy. I want to do something else. You, you guys, you're all actually you're all gonna be on active anyway, so that's okay. Do I need all three of you on active? Probably not. I say you can just jump jump onto reserve. Watch those pennies, you know. Three cruisers and destroyer. South Carolina. Yeah, so it's the same. See that scheme with the wing turrets? That's one we could do, although they've gone for the 12s. One, I want my 14s. I'm not going to lie. I want them. I want them bad. Four centline line turrets, even without the superimposed, it just gives you so much more weight savings. Britain, you're doing wonderful things for us. Okay, so let's have a quick look at a light cruiser. Maybe we want to do to kind of fill the gap. Uh, yeah, prop. Well, let's see what you, you start with, right? 4,000. Uh, okay, that's. Um, Probably tempted to go more for the five. Uh, I do like going, give my light cruise a little bit of protection. Again, perhaps it's smarter to do the um, large number of cheaper ships for the blockade, but we'll go with this for just now. Speed 20, that's really fast. We might want to look to trim that down. Medium's fine. Uh, clone of service. Oh, well, that is tempting to put clone of service on these. So we can push them out that way when they retire. 100 tons. Maybe I'll keep that in mind. Uh, main armament of four sixes. I, I'm okay with that. And that's a really weird number of rounds. Six four inch caliber, but yeah, 100 tons might be a little bit tricky. Like those was probably not six inch guns though. Got your torpedoes, which again I support. I think that's a useful thing to have. Ooh. Protected cruiser. No triple defense, which I think is fine. Little bit on the light side, isn't it, as well? Henry Guns, I don't care quite so much about. Now, now I'm just beyond a shopping list, really. Do, do I drop them? I don't know. I quite like having the three-inch belt on a, on the light cruisers. It just gives them that level of survivability when they get into a scrap. Oh, this is where my light cruisers become big. <laughs> uh, and I can, there's a tipping point where you get penalised for larger ships on foreign service. Exactly where that is. But I'm tempted to make this work. Somehow. You see, no, stuff it. We're not going to use them, and we'll just use the uh, Corvette to be efficient. Or we could build one actually purpose built for foreign service, couldn't we? And have these as our kind of fleet light cruisers. I'm tempted to do that. That's not a terrible idea. And we could have because we could have the foreign station ones to be much lighter armored. And we could even turn them into put them on trade protection when when wars kick off. Okay. Right, I'm talking up lots of stories right now. For now, I think we're gonna Go with this. I want to spend some wrong way. A little bit more ammo for you. A little bit more ammo for you. I think this is actually pretty good. Reasonable amount of protection all around. Turret tops a little like we squeeze half an inch in. Yeah, we can. Yeah, I think this is good. Reasonable amount of protection. Reasonable amount of speed. Not gonna outpace the world. Pretty junky. I like it. 
Okay. We have a little bit of rate of fire reduction, but ah, it's okay. Done. Rebuilds finished, all of them? Yes. Back to our Chino class here and just put you back onto reserve. Thank you very much. All right, we'll have a build screen and yeah, I want to rock out probably another four of these, I think. Same as we did with the Neptuno class. So we've got a few more kind of fleet cruisers. So let's do that. Boldly advance. Turns out the Capitan de Navio Sastron, average gunner expert, is corrupt. I think when you say no corruption, corruption generally sounds pretty bad. You Great Britain. Oh, there she is. Super post B turrets. Oh. Oh, we just need the center line now. Four center line turrets, and we are on. Okay, economy's back on track. A new cruiser from Japan has arrived. What do we say? Well, we're clearly going to go give me all the money you can, because I want the money. Prestige is just the number. Savings, better torpedoes. Scouting. We will have to sort my divisions out, actually, which I've not done for a while. Our <sighs> new piece. Okay, we're 9, 19, 10. We're fairly chunking through the years here. Which is good and bad. Nice to get a bit of tech advancing, but we will... We're always going to lag behind because of the money until we start expanding our empire. Uh, government wants to reduce naval spending in favour of social programmes. And new, 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 new. One. National hero. This is going to backfire, I can tell. Ah, no, it's okay. Now, we also got to remember, even when we pull the trigger on these new uh, ships, they're going to be three years out. Weight saving, I like that. Uh, double tube, tube torpedo mount struggling with. Uh, where are we focusing our research in a minute? Naval guns, uh, which I think is always important. Ship design is, yeah, turrets and Gun mountings, okay, I agree with that. Fire control, I'm going to bring that one down for just now. I'm going to bring down for just now. Really want to push the ship design. In fact, why don't we do this? And I think I don't really care about. Uh, probably fleet tactics, we can stick that on a low. Submarine, I'm at, how, how submarine are we going? I, to be honest, I'm not sure. Not sure. We'll leave, I think we'll leave it as that for just now. Okay, four ships. And to with Britain taking us out like this, who, what do we need our own uh, research for? Uh, so that's what the destroyers, yeah. Yeah, that's quite a nice little uh, light forces fleet we've got here now. I'm pleased with this. Go into the wolves when the war breaks out, but. I'll do as well at the start. Albania. This could potentially get to war. How have their rebuildings going on? Well, actually, they've not finished knocking out... Oh, no, they have. So they've built three of theirs, 20,000 tons, chunky ones. They've gone heavy in the battle cruiser, which isn't something we've looked at and we could do... Do like a, a yeah, three turret battle cruiser. That could be challenging. Uh, these things, I don't think, really matter. Maybe cruisers were on par and light cruisers we are ahead of the game, although ours are still pretty bubbling, but we'd definitely be up against it in terms of uh, capital ships, especially those battle cruisers. And then of course these Americans as well. You guys still allied? You are still allied. And then the question is how aggressive are the Yanks gonna be? We should go in many years since war. Let's go bold here. Whoa. It's getting spicy. Oh, shipbuilding, that's probably something else we'd be focusing on. 
The war party <laughs> demands immediate action and ends Italy. What is your reaction? Absolutely. Your ship's cool. Okay. <laughs> we are at war. I'm probably going to regret this. Right, let's expand the docks. Um, okay. We've got... Well, let's mobilize everyone. Mobilization. Let's sort out our divisions. Uh, where is my division designer? Down here. Okay, so we're going to want... It's over here. Ready on. Right, we've got one battle division of... All chips, which is fine. If I had a new division... I don't worry about designations. I would like to add U3. Good. And then I've got one heavy cruise division of that lot, which is fine. I wanted to add... I'm not sure it's really worth adding the two Mallorca class together. We're going to try it. What I would like to do... Add these two in. Get them moved to no, not like that, and not put you subservient to oh. another battle division. Set roll, roll. I could have you screening for these guys, like so. Yeah, okay, that's cool. And then I want to make sure, yeah, that's kind of pointless. Let's dissolve this division. To destroy division, probably a couple of them actually. Let's get the three new ones, and then each of these we're going to add six of our latest and greatest one, two, three, four, five, six. I think, and I click cancel because why not? I love doing things twice. My ship's division. Not even tells me six ships. Give me a second. Done. Vision. Add ships to vision. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, we can add just a few ships in here. It's fine. You should have essentially all the random ones. Very good. Uh, you are going to support my... So you're going to screen these gentlemen. I think... Why can I actually set you? Why don't we have you screen my first cruiser division? I might have you to screen my main battle division as well. Okay. my fleet flag. You are core. Core is, I suppose, fine. Lead division is these guys. I know the numbers are all around, but fine. Eh, okay, we haven't got our light cruisers in as a division. So we probably want them all operating together, so why don't we do one more and then I'll... First light cruiser division. We'd like to add the Neptunos. Very good. Uh, set role, so you're going to be essentially a scouting force. Okay. I think that's a, a bit of organization there. Uh, I don't really want these guys in battle, but there you go. Right, we're going to need to put our corvettes into trade protection. Oh yeah, do I have any? I mean, I need 14. I may be a bit shy of corvettes here, actually. Got. What is this? Put you on street protection. Boop, boop, boop. Eight. The rest are all overseas. Uh, so, who else would we want to throw onto trade protection? Then we could put some of these older cruisers on. You're out in Southeast Asia. You can go trade protection. And I need another five ships. Let's put. Put all of you on. No, let's put Iglesia on trade protection. And probably just a bunch of destroyers. Uh, who's not in division? Ooh, like it's a bit awkward. Tell me it does one, two, three, four, four, 
five, six. Let's do that. Put you on tree protection. I don't really want to spend my destroyers with this, but c'est la vie. Um, and let us quickly knock out a uh, tree protection corvette. I think so. six hundred mark. Start with that's insanely big. I want them six hundred tons, I believe. Yes. Uh, you don't need many guns. Sure, you can maybe have one forward, one aft. Ah, I still don't have any depth charge throwers. I could put minesweepers on these. But I'll keep those, keep these ones ASW. You no, know, you're not colonial service. I mean, theoretically, I should slow down 17 because it'll save, you know, a scooch on maintenance. Technically makes them cheaper. But let's, let's maybe not go over the top with our min-maxing here. I think it's fine. Well, actually, you can let me do that with this amount of weight remaining. Yeah, oh, yeah, sure. Okay, we'll get them knocked out and we'll build a bunch more of them. Perfect. Uh, okay, all the other thing I do is go wait and store my officers. So I tell you what, I'll put a quick cut in and I'll do that and come back. All right. So after a bit of twiddling in the save files and at the cost of four prestige, I have my full officer compliment from the uh, commenters back. And I've, everyone has been bumped down to Capitan de Navio. We've had resurgence for Blaze Engineers and Thurmon, who are <laughs> in versions number two after the first ones went down the ship. And everyone has got a vessel aside. So uh, let's, uh, which way are we doing this? Actually, no, that was probably a better way of doing it. Okay, so we have uh, Aventurado is now in command of the Pedro de Aragon heavy cruiser raiding out in Southeast Asia. This is overseas posting request. We have Blaze's re in command of the Dreadnought Madrid. We have Vuitton Negro in command of our, one of our, actually it's one of our older battleships. I didn't pick that up. I think you've had command of, I didn't change this, it's been command for a long time. Uh, Cerveza has been in command of a new battleship. And Fermin the second, who we still a music lover, has got the third battleship. Well, poor ship handler, maybe not a great idea. Uh, then we've got our heavy cruiser captains, so Ding is in part of the older Emperor Carlos V and Patatas as well in the Princess de Asturias. And then we have the new Mallorca and Menorca, commanded by Proto and Marques Scholtoya. And then finally, we've got the Catalonia by Halcyon, and then we have a few placeholders for just now Ultimo Recurso, Valsamis, and Venta Baja, who are in command of a few of the lighter divisions. I think I've earmarked with some of the new light cruisers so when they roll off the uh, the infantry infantry production line and uh, okay it's going to be a year then I might instill your command there. I thought that was preferential to some of the older commands that are on the go. At least you'll be in action as division commanders. Uh, yeah, so um, excellent. It cost me four whole prestige to, to uh, tweak all around. In in addition to that, I probably should go around and ensure that everyone who... Look, I've got a couple of brilliant people here who aren't in use. Uh, you're incompetent, that's, you're not worried about that. Um, you know, I've got below average people who are in charge, including you two, which is a little bit frustrating, um, when I've got much better people for the job. So do I have a... Do I have a suitable job for you that's not going to replace one of my fine people? Um, I could get you one of these older ships, I suppose. Like you, you're below average. Let's get rid of you. Again, might cost a little prestige. Uh, we'll get a little brilliant guy reassigned somewhere as well. Oh, you're a rear admiral. Yeah, let's get you somewhere. Uh, I don't think that's true anymore. You can be in charge of that. Excellent. I'll not worry too much about the above averages. Cool. All right, so there we have it. Look to your ships, gentlemen. Don't you know there's a war on? Convoy defense. Oh, I'm not. I forgot to move people. <laughs> All right, fine. We ha we vastly outnumber them. Oh, come on! Give me give me a play on my new ships. Yeah, sweet. So we probably want a fairly quick war. Oh, <laughs> really, really, this is what you give me to play around with. Three destroyers. 
Uh, are they even my new destroyers? Yeah, okay, so they are the Alcedo class. What about you? Yeah, okay. So I've got six four-inch guns learning. What an absolute waste of the mission. Okay, fine. Let's not worry too much about this one. How long have we got till dusk? Five hours, alright. I think we're... I'm interested to see what they have. On ship side, this is where they like, rock a heavy cruiser or something. A little bit, what are we cruising on? Well, your max speed's 27, let's go, I don't know, 24 for a little bit of a cruise. I mean, we could go for a, for a head on charge, try and get some torpedoes away. This is my flag division, so I can do manual torpedoes. My own little game rules we're following here. Let's bring this down a little bit. They are turning. Let's hit enter, look, time run. What are you? Are you just a destroyer? Heavy cruiser is running away from three destroyers. I just, I'm not convinced that's true. It is. All right, well, let's tailor. I would love to tail her until dark and then do a bit of a madcap run in at night time. And for whatever reason, she's not firing at me. Right, let's, I mean, you, you can have some guns at f f rear facing, surely. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 I see the splashes. She's firing me. She just hasn't hit anything yet. How long have we got until dusk? Three hours. Let's, um, let's tell you what, let's do it. Let's kick up some smoke. Boop. Keep that, uh, Poor aim coming in. We're going to try and get relatively close. And with a couple hours to, to dusk, then I think we're going to rank, uh, crank up the speed and do a little bit of a torpedo charge. Uh, it's still a fair way away. Let's just run time for a little bit. The smoke trails, okay, this is good. How far is dusk? Oh, still too far. We have closed the gap soon. Let's hit squad max. Let's been cut out to the left a little bit. Again, we're going to open ourselves up to the broad size only thing, but again, kind of rear chasing a heavy cruiser is not really the best thing to do. We might want to see if we can try and get out in front of her. Cut in. Okay, this is okay so far. How much more time we killed? And then not really that long. Could you, I mean, if we sail towards her, presumably she's going to turn away. Do some a little, not quite sneaky stuff, but you know, try and have a second option just in case she does. Yep, squad max, you're going nice and nippy as well. Uh, yeah, let's do it. The turn together, kind of angle it roughly where we think she's going to be. You're going to charge along behind her in case she makes the turn. I suspect she will. Angle this way a little bit. Didn't quite get my angle right here. We're maybe going to come in slight behind her. Okay. No hits on us yet, which is good. Ooh. Okay, hit a uh, hit for us. First blood. Uh, let's take turns to get it off. We can't straighten up a scooch. There's her making the turn. She is going to be slow. Oh, I think you're in trouble now. One more minute? No. Sensible turn away. I'm slightly confused by you've turned south. Okay, now we're on. We're in trouble. We may not have the angle here. We might be too far behind her still. Indeed, that is the case. And we're going to ride out pain. 
I'm not convinced this is a particularly good angle. I think we'll have a solution. Probably not one that's going to hit. It's worth firing, or do I want to try and get a, a more sure thing? I think I'm going to hold. It's still good. I'm wiggling all over the place. Right, I'm going to try it with you. Oh, you've already fired. Nice. Okay. Two more torpedoes away. You're coming in, kind of hammer and anvil style. Torpedoes in the water, many torpedoes in the water. I like it. I don't like that though. It turns on a dime. Ah! That misclick there actually might cost me quite a lot, to be honest. Okay. World's in trouble. You've got one left, I think. Just maybe launch it and then break off. Fire. And pull her away. Detach. Off you go. Oh, it's looking good. I don't know what you're doing. going to maybe get out of here. Oh, go on, see. Yes. Good hunting. Uh, technically, I can't do your torpedoes because you're not my flag division. Some might say it's a very silly little uh, thing I'm holding myself to, but there you go. And maybe it actually cost us the fact, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm not having it. I'm going to break my own rules. I'll be darned if the AI ruins this for me. <laughs> Beautiful. And now she may have sunk without that, but I don't care. I wanted that. Okay, cool. Well, what else are you supposed to do with the battle generator? Push up three destroyers up against a heavy cruiser. Beautiful. Great start to the war. Uh, kudos. We did lose the linear. But for a heavy cruiser, I will absolutely take that. Let's have a look. So, uh, log entries. Before that, you hit. They're flooding like. Not really. Okay, torpedo. Freud. Oh, Who's your first torpedo hit? Maybe it's this one here actually. So there's no um there's no reduction in flooding after that first hit, so she may well have been on her way down anyway. We hit again. Okay, so fine. I'll take it. Well done, team. Oh, that's a shame, that was really good. I quite like that technology sharing work workshop. Workshop. Relationship thing. Um, okay, we sunk an enemy submarine. Beautiful. How many do we have out and about? 14. Okay, I think we're doing fine. Uh, yes, I would like to go to the build screen, probably knock out uh, probably 12 of these if we can. Beautiful. Do right, ships and service. We do want to look at where everyone is. Yeah, we're out in Northern Europe. Where are our friends? Italians have no one in Northern Europe. No one in the Caribbean. Uh, battle cruisers and stuff in West Africa. I keep an eye on that. Uh, and obviously the bulk of the forces in the Mediterranean. So I think what we're going to do is take essentially everyone. And go for a jolly old holiday into the Mediterranean. So who all's in Northern Europe? You're on trade protection, so you can kind of stay there. Everyone else, let's move down to the Med. Have a jolly old time. Well, you guys are on trade protection, so that's probably fine. Move to the Med. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, that's probably time, I think, unfortunately. Uh, let's do a teaser, see what we're going to get ourselves into. Here we go, an enemy coastal rain. Well, we're going to accept, always. They might outship us a little bit. We'll see what turns up. Ooh. This looks chunky. Okay, so we've got our light cruisers. We've got our Mallorca and Menorca somewhere, maybe? No, just the Mallorca. But we do have our lovely little dreadnoughts. And these are little dreadnoughts. We'll have to treat them as such. There we go. We've got Blaze. Got Fermon. And we have... I don't know why I've given the two people that have managed to sink my ships. I've given them command of my newest ones. I'm not, I'm not sure there's logic in that, but there we go. Okay, so when we come back next time... Ah, uh, we do have them in Norca. Perfect. We have most of our officer complement in our lovely new ships. We've got a good map position uh, where we have plenty of ports to limp into if things don't go our way. I think we're going to hunt ourselves some Italians. So do join us in. Catch you later. Bye.